Lesson for Friday, January 12th. Further thought. Read Psalm 42, verse 8. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the God of my life. And Ellen G. White, Poetry and Song, pages 159 to 168 in Education. How are prayer and song related according to these inspired texts? Ellen G. White describes David's penitent psalms, example Psalm 51, as the language of his soul and prayers that illustrate the nature of true sorrow for sin. See Steps to Christ, pages 24 to 25. She encourages believers to memorize texts from the psalms as the means of fostering the sense of God's presence in their lives and highlights Jesus' practice of lifting his voice with psalms when met with temptation and oppressive fear. She also remarks, How often by words of holy song are unsealed in the soul the springs of penitence and faith, of hope and love and joy. Indeed, many a song is prayer. Education, pages 162 to 168. When we pray and sing the psalms, we assume the persistence, boldness, courage, and hope of the psalmists. They encourage us to continue our spiritual journey and comfort us that we are not alone. Other people, like us, have gone through dark times, and yet were triumphant by the grace of God. At the same time, the Psalms reveal to us the glimpses of Christ's fervent intercession on our behalf, as he always lives to pray for us. Hebrews 7, 25. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost, that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Engaging Psalms in prayer and worship makes the believing community aware of the full range of human experience and teaches the worshipers to engage in the various facets of that experience in worship. The Psalms are divine human prayers and songs. For that reason, including Psalms consistently in worship brings the believing community to the center of God's will and powerful healing grace. Discussion Questions Why is spontaneous, unguided prayer not the only way to pray? How can our prayer life benefit from the Psalms, the biblical prayers? How can the Psalms enrich our communal prayer experience? Discuss some practical ways your local church can foster the use of the Psalms in its worship services. What do the Psalms reveal about the complexity of the human pilgrimage of faith and the power of God's healing grace? Thank you.